moment, let's get to talk a little bit more about the intelligence. When these, these folks come up with these ideas, they go, okay, I'm, I'm going to invent the gas automobile or whatever. <laughs> they must be really excited about it, you know, and, and go, oh my God, you know, I could make the world a better place and, and maybe make some money too. Um, but do you think it's a case where then they get so excited that they don't even like pause to think of perhaps some negative ramifications from their invention or their, their service or whatever it is? Well, what do you think, I think? <laughs> well, having interviewed you backstage before, I, I know a little bit, but... Uh... So what do you think would have happened, let's say, after Hiroshima and Nagasaki, if Oppenheimer and the scientists said, there is no reason that this substance named after the devil should be promulgated in our culture? We can't control it. We're asking ourselves to be perfect in a universe where people say oops every day. And they had just made a kind of taboo. And what a taboo is, if you think about it, is the wisdom to recognize that you have more power than you have ability to control what you make. So had they said that, we would not have tons and tons of nuclear fuel leaking into the rivers in Hanford, Washington, leaking into the Tennessee Valley Authority, all over the world, piling up, dumping into the oceans in Japan. Admittedly, their intention was compassionate and perhaps trying to expiate their guilt. But had they just stopped to ask themselves, we're creating a permanently toxic poison that's antithetical to anything with replicating cells. Are we sophisticated enough, capable enough to leash this on the universe? I think wisdom might have had second thoughts and said, I don't think we are. <laughs>